Today we're going to be cooking with sweet smoke cues, Stubbs chicken marinade, Stubbs spicy, sriracha, Braswell's pepper jelly, tub patio, and Big Papa's Country Kitchen hot sauce. We're going to cook us some ribs, some chicken wings, and we're going to use a ribless to make a riblet stew. Uh, you know, you can make it last 24 hours. It's a slow, slow burn. Man, this is exciting, man. We get the fire rolling. <laughs> I don't know what I've been doing the last week, but it seemed like I forgot about barbecue almost. Uh, I haven't, though. I mean, I, I always work on barbecue superstars. We just got the hook up to directly upload onto uh, www.ozones.com. We're going to use that and I'm going to add some stuff to it. Uh, let me get my gloves on. $16 for these ribs, which ain't too bad a price for these days. Oh, she didn't put my gloves on. I don't know what's wrong with me today. All right, let's see. Now we're going to get jiggy with these ribs. We're going to do a lot of stuff to them. So get your little pads, notebook papers and pads out. Because, uh, we fixing to rock and roll these ribs. All I want for Christmas is you. Ooh, ooh ah, oh, baby. Man, I tell you, if I ever meet Mariah Carey on a barbecue superstars level, I may just go sit down and die. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the pinnacle of everything in the universe. Is uh, just to walk up and shake her hand and say, Hello, Mariah Carey. How you doing? My name is Daryl Mass. What's up? <laughs> barbecue Superstars. Boy, if I could get a Barbecue Superstars, hell yeah, I'd, have, I'd really freak out. Barbecue Superstars, hell yeah. It may happen. All right, so let's get my ribs out. Yeah, this is a belly rack of ribs. I swear it doesn't look as big as some we've got in the past. Like, it's not as long or something. These are shorter or something. Well, of course, first thing we got to do is we got to take our membranes off again. gonna say that for we're gonna do a cabbage uh, we're gonna do a cabbage dish at the end of this I tell you we'll just go ahead and get our membrane off here now now folks this is the talk of lore get the membrane off What does it take to get the membrane off your back of your ribs? Dre will do it without any gloves or, or uh, paper towels or anything. You just grab it. Trying to get it all in one piece so it'll just roll right off of there in a second. There you go, I think I got it. Oh, look at there. What? I tell you who's really good at getting membrane off. That's uh picking porkers. Roger and Marcia Wise. I love Roger. 
He's a good guy. <laughs> He's the best guy in barbecue. He'll take you in, help you out, get you started. If you're a new cook, you see Roger Wise at a barbecue contest, you need to check with him. Tell him Daryl Mass from Barbecue Superstar sent you. He needs to get on some of these television shows. Roger Wise can actually cook, unlike some other big mouth people who can't cook who get on and make a fool out of themselves. Let's see now. Just because you got a big mouth don't mean you can cook. Let's see. Uh, I've got about an inch to play with. I'm trying to decide whether I do them short or long. Uh, I think I'm going to do them a little long. My wife and my son Adam are going to eat these. And, uh, that way they'll have more meat on them. Okay. I'll lay these over here for right now. And get just a little more even cut there. Clean it up a little bit. I'm not going to waste any of these ribs today. I'm going to use 100% of them. And, and they're nice, beautiful. Even these competition ribs. Here, use the competition easy. Oh, shit. Bone's crooked. I ain't going to waste that first bone. We're not competing with that. There you go. All right. Uh-oh. So we got Stubbs marinade, sriracha, tapio, and beer in our mar in our injection. All right. Well, we're going one more stronger, and this is the most important one. Sweet smoke kill. Boom. Pio. Hell yeah. Oh, he uh, dominated the World Food Championships. Glad I could help you out with that idea. Okay, let's see now. Got a smaller bore needle. Boy, that color changed good, didn't it? Now, I'm considering not wrapping these ribs this time. I don't know, we'll have to see. Not wrapping will make them tough a lot of the time. Pulling the needle back as I inject. I didn't make it to the other end. So I might just go ahead and I'm going in between the bones. Right here's a bone, right here's a bone, I'm going in between it. And uh, <laughs> that stuff ain't playing around, you got a lot of flavor in this stuff. Still in flavor is what we're after here. It's thicker on this end. It's taking more injection.
and spin it around. I'm using a small bore needle. I wanted to use that for the chicken. I didn't even bring the big one out. That would be enough. All right. Now we got her injected. Okay. So now what we want to do is come with our Rough or grow. We're gonna put some of that on there today. Get a little more heat on our meat. Let's go one coat like we did the top of the chicken. I'm doing different for the top and the bottom, so you gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. Now we're gonna get our tapio. Now a lot of this heat, the heat in this will dissipate, so. Uh, we're going to use this as a binding agent. I'm kind of going to mix it in with the uh, rub for grub. Okay, let's get a little, a little bit of kickback code put it on there. Turn it over. And the first thing we're going to do is put tapio on there this time. Heat it up, heat it up. Okay, we're we'll gonna go a little rough for grub. Spreading the love. See the grub. <clears throat> and then we're gonna put a kick back code on the back. All right. So I think we're gonna. Put one more on here, and I was just gonna go with, but the Rolling Grill Georgia 120 season. I'm gonna put a little of this championship rub on here. I'm just gonna put it on the top. Don't want to waste it. Just really stuff right here. We'll put these on the smokerbuilder.com. Then we'll come back and uh -oh. we're gonna come back and then we're gonna do our cabbage dish. Getting hot. Look at this. It's removable and easy to use. Look how easy we get the top off. Now we got this old charcoal in here.
kind of lever kettle that had as many square inches on this as this thing does, would it be this easy to clean out? Now watch, here's the big, big thing that's really cool about a Hot Boss grill. See that? It's all going easy. Okay, now we got our hot box grill pretty much cleaned out. All right, I'm gonna go low on this side this time. Yeah, we'll go a little all the way across. I'll tell you why, uh, when I put that full pan on here, uh, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be hot enough. Barbecue Superstars loves the hot box grill. I'm kind of using it as a straight up flat grill right there this time. I'm really getting to where I really like this hot box grill. A full pan will sit in here easy. There we go. Good old Royal Oak. It take long, what, five minutes or less? I don't know. Boy, that roll looks crackling. That's some good stuff right there. coming out good. Wow. Man, was that good. Holy camoly. Well, we're probably about halfway into our cook with our ribs. So, I was thinking about not wrapping them at all, but that will obviously get them dried out. I'm still going to do them different. I've still got a good amount of pepper jelly. So I'm going to do a Texas crutch and wrap them, but I'm going to get a stick of butter.
Wow, well, them wings good. I'm gonna take a half a stick and put up under it. I'm sure that'll get everywhere by the time it goes down. And I'm gonna get this stubs spicy. And I'm gonna dump it half of it right across the top on a little bit to finish it. And then I'm gonna get this Texas or this uh, pepper jelly, and I'm gonna pour about half of it across the top. No brown sugar. We're gonna let Stubbs and the Texas and the pepper jelly do its work with the butter. Dump it this way just a little bit. Dump it this way just a little bit. Go. I've got the smoker over there getting hot. We're going to cook it for an hour like this. And we'll be back in an hour. We'll finish up our ribs and I'll finish our cook. We hope you've enjoyed it. Come back in exactly one hour. Finale for the ribs. Okay, we are ready to finish our ribs. Uh, they really came out really, really good. Man, that was a trick. I cooked them in pepper jelly instead of brown sugar. Really did a good job. Now you can pepper jelly them again, set the set the glaze. And, and, uh, what I'm looking to do here is uh, and to show you how good it can make it look with the ribs and. and uh, Boy, man, is that good. Okay, here goes the stubs. Spicy. That's good. All right, we're gonna have to heat up our <clears throat> Texas pepper jelly again. Take us just a minute. Let me just do a little bit off the edge right here. Well, folks. Somewhere along right in here, I decided I wasn't worried about any more Texas pepper jelly. Uh, I started eating these ribs, and I got to admit, I uh, kind of forgot about everything. And uh, so, as you can very well guess, at some point along in here, I'm going to say, heck with the pepper jelly. And uh, we're going to end the show so I can promptly chomp on these ribs. Man, is that good. I'm gonna take a second for the pepper jelly to get hot.
have every intention of putting the pepper jelly on these ribs but it's like every corner of the table I stand on all I can do is look over and see that the ribs are really well done and it's not gonna hurt to take another bite and that's kind of where I'm at right now in the process of uh, there you go just just one more I can't help it hey these ribs are good I think I'll be awake till the Texas pepper jelly, I mean till the pepper jelly gets hot. I think I'm gonna have to take these in there and eat them right now. Man, look at them ribs. Good Lord have mercy. Well, we appreciate everybody coming by today. We're gonna wrap it all up. Go back, check this out. Cook yourself up some ribs now. If you look at the videos going down, you know, there's more than one video you'll just see one showing on the website but there's probably three or four down the main ones where i did all the cooking so go back and check it out go to www.ownzones.com thanks for coming by